Hey guys, BayYTU here, and this is the third one of these. Alright, Black's best defense is... Alright, I've already had this problem, but I cannot remember the um thing that it does. So, what it is, is I remember that the queen is threatening on e5. Okay, if the queen attacks the pawn on e5, then you're in very much trouble. So if you move your queen up to e7, that would work. However, that's not what they want you to do. I just don't remember what they want you to do. Black's best defense would be... Let's see, what's g6? g6? Uh, g6 is really not that good of a defense. If I, g6 is just like pawn to g6. So that means that if I were to move this one, this pawn at g7, forward one to g6... Um, that's what that top one means, g6. N to h6 is knight to, um, h6, so that would be h6, but I don't see what good that would do, so we're not going to do that. Knight to c6, so that would be that to right there, which actually would work because I think that's what it is, because king to e7, this is e, this is 7, so king to e7, Right there, that wouldn't work. I'm pretty sure it's this, and I'll tell you why, okay? So if you go like that, then you have a defense of that pawn, and you can also go in front of the king. So, that would be the best one. White to play and promote a queen in... F promote to a queen in five moves. One. Two. Three. I think I've lost, actually. Yeah, there's no way that I can do it. I'd have to move my pawn both, both times. Alright, so one. Two. Three. Four. And then I'll explain to you why that works. He can't attack the pawn while it is around him. So if he moves that way, then you move like that. And you just create this little... I don't even know what you'd call it. But yeah. White to play and checkmate in two moves. Alright. I think I already see it. So if I move the queen right here, then the queen, the only move is to have it take the queen. And then if you move like that, then nothing happens because, duh, the queen can just go back to where it was. I'm smart. So it's that, and then that. Okay. So, I go like that. And they don't want to move their queen so that they can block that. So they move that up. But I guess it doesn't really matter either way because by then there's no way unless they do a pawn move that or the rook move or the king move for them to do anything. So yeah, I'm just going to... Okay, so it's about four minutes. Alright, play a bad move for back to create a battery on the h2 b8 diagonal. Okay, so h2 to b8. So that means that I that I need to play a move for black. Sorry, a move, not a bad move. So a battery is when there's something protecting something else, kind of. So like if I had a rook here and no pawn here and then a rook there, then, um, yeah, that's really weird. Um, it'd be a battery. I don't know why they call it that. But so it wants me to create a battery right here. So you can also have diagonal batteries, not just vertical and horizontal batteries. So if I move that right there, then these two are protecting each other. I could have also, to make a battery, I could have done that. That is really weird that that stays. But anyways, so yeah, and that, then that, and this is the dumb part. You can just keep playing and sacrifice all your guys and whatever. You know, just whatever. 
Alright. Lack to play in checkmate in two moves. Alright. And usually these are in like really sticky situations where you're like about to like lose the game and stuff. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to see first what things can attack, what things can get pretty close. And what you never want to do is you never want to leave yourself open. This one actually is really going to be hard for me. But basically, I th think that if we do that, then they attack that, then nothing good happens. Okay, so if I do that, then that. Okay, so two. Really? He's in checkmate? Oh my gosh, I didn't even try. Okay, but I get how it works. Okay, so you move the knight. The king's in check, and he can't move over there because of that. So the only move is to do that. And then if the pawn kills that, he is in check right there and right there, and there is nothing to block. So next. Who is threatening to checkmate in one move? Okay, so... Checkmate in one move. Um. Well, if the that guy moved there, then that wouldn't really be a checkmate. But if that killed that, that still wouldn't be a checkmate. I don't think black is threatening. Oh, but if if white if black goes right there, if the black queen goes right there because of that, then it will checkmate black because he can do absolutely nothing about that. And I seriously don't see how white can checkmate in one move. Um, so I'm just going to go with black. Look at checks for both sides. Alright. I don't see how moving that up would make it a checkmate. Let's see. Um, oh, wait, yeah, so if this, um, knight at c4 were to move and kill the pawn at b6, it would be checking it, and the pawn at a7 could not kill it, because then it would be release the kraken, no, release the kraken, release the rook at the king at a1. Or 1A. I say A1. I say the letter and then the number. Okay, so both sides are. So, yeah. Usually on those, it's either both or neither. Okay, so checkmate in one move. So, we have to look at where he can move. He can move right there. I think if I go right there, then it checkmates him. Yes, because he can't move there, 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 or there already but he could move there so if I move right there my first thing would have been to do that but that's not as good okay play move for white that stops black's checkmate threat actually we're going to see what time it is alright we'll just speed run through this okay this that stops black's checkmate oh I see that if we move right there then he can move right there right after, so then it blocks his checkmate threat. And then he cannot checkmate. But then you're pretty trapped, but still. Player move for black that stops white's checkmate threat. Alright, so it's the other way around this time. Black that stops white's checkmate threat. The first step in this is identifying what the checkmate is going to be. In this case, I have no idea. Um, it probably has something to do with the rook so that it can't flee. So in other words, we could probably just do that and get away with it. But let's just see. Yeah. So if we do that, it, it says one solution right there. So yeah, if we do this, then he can just walk right there. So yeah. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.